Okay, in today's video, we want to talk about the new dual theme software that's going to be coming out from Herco. Um, here very shortly, the machines will be shipping with this version. And if you update your software in the field, you're going to get to this version. And it is a 10.4.0 or higher. We call it dual theme because it's going to be a light theme or dark theme, we can select between the two. We've had a lot of requests in the field for a dark theme version of this, of our control. So we finally have uh, released that and it's gonna be coming out here very quickly. So whether you get the, the desktop software or on your machine, at some point you're going to see this uh, dark mode or light mode availability uh, on the machine. So the very first time we turn on the machine, it's going to pop up with the um, little menu that we see here, and it's going to say to enable dark mode, do you want to enable the dark mode system theme, question mark, and this can be changed at any time in the user preferences. I'll show you in the video as we go where to change that so you can toggle back and forth between the two if you choose to, or if you choose dark mode, you don't like it, you want to go back to light theme, I'll show you where to change that as well. So once I answer this, I'm going to say yeah, uh, no at this time. I'm going to stay in the light version. Then we're going to stay in this. It's kind of a uh, legacy st color scheme. It's going to be a lot of black uh, buttons, a lot of black text on a, a light gray background. But you'll notice that the splash screen, the screen that we see here on the input screen, is different. All the icons along the menu bar up here have changed, as well as on the machine in the auxiliary menu when it pops up. They're gonna be the same icons you see here in the desktop software. They have changed. Over time, there'll be more color added to these, but right now, what you see here is pretty much what you're gonna get. Uh, they're all in the same location. They do exactly the same thing. And that's something else I wanna point out. Nothing has changed in the behavior of the system. It's just the appearance of the screens themselves. So here, if I go to the review button, I'll go into a holes block. You see it's very similar to what you're used to. Um, there are a few color changes here. So as I highlight things, um, select these different tabs, you'll see some differences there. But overall, it's exactly the same control. Graphics has not changed at all. So when you go to graphics, it's gonna look exactly like it always has. The change is only on the left screen or the text screen if you're on a single screen. Now, the way we change this is we go to the auxiliary button we go to our utility screen, user preferences, and user interface settings. There is a setting here for color scheme. We have light, dark, and default. White is exactly what it says. Dark is going to switch us to the dark mode, which I'm getting ready to do, so I'll, I'll bring the software up again so we can see it in dark mode. And if I put it to default, it's going to default to light, but it's going to ask me the question whether I want to enable dark mode or light mode again, just like it did the very first time that I powered up. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select dark mode. It's going to tell me that I need to restart the application, meaning I need to reboot my machine if I'm on a machine. If not, I just re need to restart the software on my desktop. I'm going to select OK. I'm going to go ahead and power down the software. Okay, so now we've rebooted the software. We now are in dark mode. You'll notice that it's pretty much a reverse of what we saw. We've got light gray or white looking letters over a black background now. If I go back into that same holes block, you can see that it's, a, again, very similar. It's just the background. Also, if I look at the graphics screen, again, nothing has changed on the graphics, whether you're in light mode or dark mode. Here is what the auxiliary menu on the control will look like. You can see that the buttons, the icons are in exactly the same location. Some of the icons are a little different, but they're called the same thing. They're in the same location and they do the same function. So that's a little bit on the dual theme that you're going to start to see in Herco. Here pretty soon you'll be able to download this version of the desktop 
if you'd want to play around with it, um, you can keep checking the, the website for the download link to see if it's switched to the dark mode. That should happen very soon. Or you can always email someone at applications at herco.com and we'll send you a link and a password to download the trial version.